All right guys, what's going on? Welcome to your next Android tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, we're gonna cover the new Android support library called and or Action Bar Compat, which essentially uh, is Action Bar Sherlock, but Google have made it and released it. And the reason I'd advise you to pick this new Action Bar Compat over the Action Bar Sherlock is because it will support newer features, and, other, and lots of other things, you know, the act, uh, action bar toggle for the nav drawers um, objects and stuff like that, it'll help support those. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do is import the project. So we want to import existing Android code into Workplace. Browse for your project. Now the project is hidden in the uh, Android SDK. So. Uh, for me it's under my documents android sdk and then under the sdk you go to extras android support v7 app compat okay copy projects into workspace and we have it up here ready to go so that's for android support v7 app compatibility right now we're going to create our actual project so we're going to call it Action bar compat. We'll change that to Android 2.3. We'll up that to 4.3. And we'll go next, 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 next. You know the drill at this point. Okay, so our first job is to, of course, add the uh, Android support v7 app compat library. So we need to just make sure it is a library. And the properties Android, it says is library. So for this one, we want to add the library. So properties Android. Add. Pick the app compat project and away we go. So now we've got that ready. So how do we port over to it? Well, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to change this to an action bar activity. And the whole app freaks out, naturally enough. Now, it's not giving us the option to import anything. Now, I found this issue earlier. What I found the trick to do was, was to go in here, go into the libs, and move this to here. So move the Android support v7 app compat.jar to the libs folder of your actual project, like that. Then, right click, properties, Java build path, Android dependencies, add jar, go down to your project, libs, done. Add the jar, okay. And now the option comes up and we're done. It's a little bit confusing to get that working, but now that we have it working, we now have our action bar activity, which is nice and very cool. So this will draw the action bar as expected, but what we need to do now is, we're gonna go into our resources folder and we're gonna get rid of all these values, V11, V14. We're gonna to need to get rid of all those and under our styles, we need to pick our theme. And the theme that we're gonna pick, so here it is, Android theme that's light. So what we need to do is we need to find our theme. So if we go into our resources here, we go to values, styles. You see a big long list of them, but we should be able to find correct one okay I'll ignore that for now I, I believe it is a uh, a theme damn it so it's not Android theme it's theme dot Hang on. Okay, so I've managed to find it. 
Uh, I couldn't remember what it was called. I just had to look it up here. It's team.app. Team.appcompass.lice.dark. Action plan. That should be it. So if we run this now. Please run. Don't yell at me. And we're actually running this on the new Jenny Motion emulators. Oh, great. Let me guess. Can't find the team. Okay, so if we run this, uh, I've got my uh, Jenny Motion emulators running. I'm going to use them from now on because they are amazing. Anyway, I've got, uh, I'm going to install this on the S4 emulator, and as you can see, Action bar compat pops up perfectly as you'd expect. And then we can run this on the Nexus 7 emulator. And voila. And that's all you need to know. Now, the, the mistake I was making was you have to set the parent to at style. Uh, Theme.appcompat.light.darkaction. And I'd actually spelt that as like D or A K, not D A or K. So my mistake. But anyway, guys, that's the very basics of this. Now, let's say you want to uh, get a reference to the action bar. Well, you call get, get support action bar. And we'll just set the title to something else. So I'll say a new title. And it's this uh, library, by the way, is almost identical to the um, old uh, Action Bar Sherlock. As you can see, loads up, new title, voila, perfect. Um, this library is almost identical to Action Bar Sherlock. And I'd recommend do using this for any new projects. I wouldn't really recommend migrating from Action Bar Sherlock, but for new projects, it's brilliant. And remember, you have to uh, extend action bar activity. You don't have to extend, uh, uh, there's no like action bar fragment. Just use fragments and it works. And that's it, guys. Uh, I might do a video on Jenny Motion, but these are the new emulators I'm going to be using. But anyway, guys, as always, this has been a very quick and brief overview of Action Bar Compat. And it's been a good talk. I'll see you out there.